PDP councillors and those as well Wadalu pass votes of confidence on Godwin Obaseke. This is in Benin, Edo State. <laughs> this is good, oh, I'm telling you. So, already 192 councillors. That means the whole Edo State now. That is what it means. Because that is grassroots PDP. Okay? That is grassroots. That state is a PDP state. Now, I'm sure that time, every APC doing everything to see how they can take that state, but it won't work. So, let's dive into the details to see how. Uh, by 192 councillors in Edo State have lined up behind Aswe Odalo and Obaseki. So according to Vanguard, 192 PDP councillors in Edo State have endorsed Dr. Aswe Odalo as their candidate for the September 21st governorship election. They also passed a vote of confidence on Governor Godwin Obaseki for his prompt payment of their salaries, allowances, and provision of vehicles for legislative uh, leaders. So the councillors dismissed allegations by the APC that they were not saying grievances against the governor or basically over unpaid salaries and, uh, and allowances. They described the allegations as misleading and a direct attack on democracy. So the leaders of the various legislative councils across the state praised Governor Basaki as a great performer and an unusual leader who has made the welfare of councillors his top uh, priority. I tell you, I think also, um, Governor Basaki has done well in paying salaries in those state, both for political office holders and for civil servants or civil service workers. So all these people Obaseki has uh, paid. And even the issue of minimum wage in Nigeria, Obaseki is at the forefront of implementing it and even putting Jara on top. So in terms of that, Edo Delta have done well in the payment of salaries and allowances to civil service workers and uh, political office holders. So I will not be surprised if Obaseki is being praised for this. They expressed confidence that Aswa Iwadalo's victory would humble the Edo State APC and make them spectators in the September governorship uh, election. They maintained that Edo that governorship they maintained that Edo electorates are looking for a proactive and responsive governor who would make Edo a progressive and prosperous uh, state. The councillors urged the Nigerian police to investigate the intent of the author of the misleading publications and accused the APC of moves to cause confusion and a breakdown of law and order in the state, especially during the election. I know that with the way I have never seen anywhere the National Auto Committee of a political party will lead the campaign of governorship election in the state. Governorship election in the state. Does that make sense? I don't understand. Why will APC National Working Committee get to that level? Because they are doing everything led by Shomole to see how they can rig that election to get uh, PDP out and get APC to take over that state. You know, the problem APC has is that almost all the South-South states are PDP states. It's only in Southwest that you have a more of APC state. And then the North, you have a APC state and PDP as well. Okay, but South South, where the oil money is coming from, is all PDP state. Even when Oshimoli tried to give a, a do to APC, it was reversed back to PDP. They tried that in Bayesa, it didn't work. They tried in Delta, it didn't work. They tried that in uh, Quaibom and Cross Rivers, it didn't work. In Abia, it didn't work. Okay, so it's only Imo now that they have taken. So the thing here is that these people are looking for a way to take over those state, but it's not going to work. So the councillors now, having received all their payments up to date, it's not saying that the allegation that the APC people are putting forward, that councillors' salaries have not been paid, is a false narrative, and they confirm that the salaries have been paid, they support the Odalo as their next governorship candidate, and then they line up behind the... Uh, uh, the governor, Governor Basaki, declaring vote of confidence on him. So this is a good one for the PDP. Let the holder stay tight because it is obvious that APC is coming with propaganda to take over that state. They shouldn't allow that to happen at all. 
So, but if you, again, like I said earlier, if you look at the way a district is in terms of political landscape, it's more of PDP, then APC, and then uh, Labour Party. But again, between PDP and APC, because of PDPs, in fact, right now, people don't even want to hear about PDP. A very few by gods are the ones following PDP. I mean, I'm sorry, APC. People don't want to hear about APC. A very few by gods are the ones following APC, I tell you. Because of this uh, Buhari's eight years that was so useless and meaningless. And Atinubu has come to continue for where Buhari stopped, making love, life very unbearable for Nigerians. Because of that, nobody wants to see APC anywhere. And now we see that APC is full of fake promises, lies up and down, propaganda everywhere. So APC has actually known that on the platter of gold, they can't win election. It's only by rigging and violence that they can win election. And now look at what Oshimola is trying to do now in Edo State, causing problem in Edo State, uh, or trying to create ethnic tension in Edo State against uh, PDP so that APC can use that to win. How can you be stoking ethnic bigotry ethnic attention so as to have edge politically it doesn't make sense campaign on issues stop campaigning on personalities and tribes and et ethnic groups that is it that is it so with the way things are okay we've seen that the councillors 192 councillors have come out to say no to apc and yes to pdp have come out to say um uh, what is this now? Basaki is the best thing that has happened to them in the state. And uh, Iwodalo is their man. That is it. When you put Iwodalo and uh, and uh, Pueblo together, I tell you, you will never drop a Pueblo for... You will never drop Iwodalo for Pueblo. You will drop a Pueblo for Iwodalo. Because Iwodalo has proven to be articulated, educated, and can represent the people very well, home and abroad. Iwodalo... I mean, uh, uh, Pueblo cannot... He represent himself, not talking about representing others. He has refused to appear in public space for debate, for campaigns, for discussion, for press conference and press press uh, you know interviews. He refused to do all of that. He doesn't want to go to anywhere they will ask him plenty of questions because he's hoping that APC National will rig the election for him. Hey, it goes shock him. It goes shock him when the time reaches, he say they don't not feel rig the election. Because I'm sure PDP and the governor of Basaki, they are not laughing, they are not smiling, they are also not just watching them. They are also getting ready on their own part. Okay? Why can't uh, now, the question people are asking, why is it that Oshomole and Shaibu are the ones speaking for Pueblo? Can't the Pueblo speak for himself? Can't the Pueblo campaign? Can't the Pueblo talk? He went to the uh, U.S. to talk to a dose in diaspora in the United States, and that trip was mad with some kind of allegations that uh, he could not articulate himself very well, that it was a bad outing. He lacks coordination when it comes to anything that has to do with English language. So, and now, people, I mean, uh, 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 Shomole is trying to say that, uh, you know, because he speaks his language, he's a grassroots man, he's the person they will vote. Uh, Odalo cannot speak his language, he's imported from Lagos, he should go back. It doesn't work that way. A Edo state is not, it's made up of different languages. And so one language cannot dominate the other. And you cannot make a governor because he don't understand how to speak just one language among other languages. That doesn't work. Even in our Nigerian Electoral Act, language is English, uh, tribal language is not a criteria for winning election or for qualifying a candidate. So, so with all of that put together, I know very well that uh, you know, except APC rig that election, they're going nowhere. So thank you for listening. Let's have your comment over this.